Ladies and gentlemen, it's Christmas time and I've bought myself a nice new 128 gigabyte SD card for my nice new 4K Sony camcorder. And guess what? Yes, I've been duped by a fake seller on eBay. So um, what I wanna do in this video is just quickly show you how to use some software to check the cards that you've uh, purchased and to make sure that you don't get duped like I've been duped. Um, 128 gigs, I spent about uh, 22, 23 pounds on this card. In the shops, they're closer to 40 pounds. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, the listing claimed that this was an original card. So using some software, we can test these cards and uh, figure out whether or not you've been scammed and duped as well so uh, yeah uh, merry unhappy christmas hmm so I first stumbled across the problem when I plugged the card into my camcorder. My camcorder told me that it wasn't an UHS iU3 compatible memory card. So I then went ahead and I plugged the card into a card reader on my computer. I downloaded a piece of software called H to test W. It's relatively easy to find on the internet. Uh, fakers produce one piece of uh, one uh, lump of memory and they just overwrite that same lump of memory so so go ahead and download this uh, this 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 piece of software and extract it to somewhere like your desktop like I have uh, run the software select your language and uh, go ahead and um, prepare to verify the test uh, or test that particular card. Make sure you've obviously got it pointing to the correct card. If you don't have it pointing to the correct card, it is a destructive test. I've fast forwarded a little bit here through the test sequence, but as you can see there, a little sign came up, says uh, warning, um, this, is, this, this media is likely to have a problem. So as you can see, it's still testing there, but very quickly it's come up and told me that uh, that this card is fake. So um, at which point I went back to my eBay seller and uh, I'm waiting to hear back from them. With a little bit of luck, I'll get a refund. Uh, I'm still gonna produce and publish this video because I would very much like for people to be aware of this problem and for people to be aware of how to test for this problem and for people to be able to discourage these sellers from continuing to sell us fake cards on eBay. It would be great if you could share and send this to your friends so that they can also um, discourage these fake sellers from selling these cards to us on eBay. Anyway, thank you very much. Massive thumbs up. Please don't hesitate to subscribe. There's all sorts of mad, funky engineering videos on this channel and uh, maybe occasional little tip and trick to, uh, to help you, something like this. Cheers, bye for now.